Hey, hi there Capricorn. Welcome to my monthly predictive reading for April 2020. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. This is a general reading. Okay Capricorn, off camera to save time, I've performed a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards, just for you. And we will be using a card from the deck, Archangel Power Tarot Cards by Radley Valentine. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Eight of Pentacles, Capricorn. This is Earth Energy. Someone's Sun and Virgo. Maybe you know someone that's a Virgo. Or this is just the energy of striving for self-perfection. It's being dedicated. It's working on a trade or a profession. It's employment. It's skill and material affairs and handiwork and the arts. It's also your mastery and using your skill and doing a good job. It's avoiding mistakes and being meticulous. It needs your concentration and you're absorbed. You may have been getting closer to a goal. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The Eight of Swords, Capricorn, Air Energy. Now, this is a card of restrictions, bondage, limitations, a temporary durance, could be limiting beliefs, uh, it's a fear to move out of the situation. This is a bad situation that's temporary. You're feeling trapped. This is fearful of moving out of a situation that's binding. But there is going to be a sign that's going to come to show the way. There are problems to overcome and decisions to make, and you will not, not remain stuck. You're feeling like you're trapped with no way out, but there is a solution to every problem. It's feeling bound by circumstances. It's being frustrated and confined, stifled, hemmed in, scared and doubtful, afraid to make the wrong decision. The Eight of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords is your passion and your dedication is restricted. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you are consciously aware of. The Nine of Wands, Capricorn, someone's moon in Sagittarius. Now this is being defensive. It's feeling tired. This person is solitary and suspicious, but they're full of strength and determination. Their strength to overcome trouble, strength and waiting. It's confronting difficulties, and there's victory through courage and endurance. And this is the pause in the struggle. It's eventual victory, but steady force must be applied. It's obstinacy and strength and power and health. And through effort and determination, you're protecting what's yours, and you're showing courage under fire and standing your ground. And this is a card of recovery. You're in a strong position, and success is at hand. Nines represent completion. You've planned well and wise, wisely. This can be a test of faith. Eight of Pentacles with the Knight of Wands represents pressure at work. And now your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Five of Wands, Capricorn. Fire energy. This is a card of competition, adversity, struggle, trying to build something. This can be uncertainty. It brings in unrest and shifting vibrations. All fives are pivotal turning points. New factors that have come in that demand that you change, adapt, and grow. You might have to put in more effort to keep what you've already gained. It can be mediation and challenge and struggle, petty obstacles, annoyances, and short-term difficulties in communication which, once overcome, can change things for the better. These are conflicts. It can be a card of ordeals, tests. You'll need to watch out for trickery or fraud. 
Eight of Pentacles with the Five of Wands is employment that's restricted. It's dedication and adversity. And now your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The three of or the eight of cups, Capricorn, water energy. This is the ability to go on to new concerns. It's abandoned success. Now, as you may have noticed, this is your third eight in your layout, but I'm not going to read you the meaning of three eights because your card from the Archangel Power Tarot cards is also an eight. It's the eight of Gabriel, which is the eight of Pentacles. So when we get to that, I'll let you know what four eights in a meeting in a reading means, which I've never gotten that before. Now the Eight of Cups is moving on. It's a shift in life from being involved in doing things with others. And now you see some quiet time and a chance to be alone. This is those cups that they had shown previous concern with are being left behind. And the moons in both its full and waning quarters looks on, signifies the end of something and the beginning of something new. It indicates leaving the past behind. These are dreams and visions which are not immediately obvious that make up a valuable part of our feelings. We need to let them help our consciousness and our powers of discrimination grow. And there is a better future just around the corner. This represents an emotional turning point. The Eight of Pentacles with the Eight of Cups is passion and disillusionment in mint. It's finding something better to work on. The Eight of Swords with the Nine of Wands is feeling defensive and not knowing what to do and stuck because of caution. The Eight of Swords with the Five of Wands is self-doubt, entrapment, and conflict. Eight of Swords with the Eight of Cups is restrictions due to anxiety. It's a temporary durance and then you'll get to follow your dream. The Nine of Wands with the Five of Wands is saying no. Nine of Wands with the Eight of Cups is protecting your dream. And the Five of Wands with the Eight of Cups is walking away from pretty petty arguments and bickering. Here's your card from the Archangel Power cards deck. The Eight of Gabrielle, the Eight of Pentacles, same as. It's a great, oh no, not Pentacles, this would be Wands. The Eight of Wands, which is a fire energy card. Sorry about that. This is a great deal of activity. It's sudden and immediate results. It's important communication, just like the Eight of Wands. Now that's four wands in your reading, or eights, sorry, eights. It represents reverse and a major dilemma. The Eight of Gabriel is suddenly things are moving at a very fast pace. All delays are over and now the sky's the limit. It may be a little overwhelming, but it also feels good to see your plans moving forward. It can feel as though there are too many things going at once, so it will be necessary to stay grounded. It's important to have a very organized plan so things don't spin out of control. New information or messages come to, are coming your way, and it's a good time to promote yourself or your business. Communication is accurately received by all parties right now. Additional meetings, you may have too many balls in the air. It's flashes of inspiration and immediate results. Thanks, you guys, Capricorn. I hope you stay tuned in by leaving me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.